Shalom. This is Abik back with another um, informative um, topic for educational purposes only. Um, I want to wish all of my subscribers high health. And I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and in high spirits and uh, taking the proper precautions against these agendas that are waged against us in America behind enemy lines. Um, I want to give a salute to my 115th subscriber and my 114th subscriber. I appreciate all of the views that I'm getting. I appreciate my subscribers. Uh, thank you to the 113th, the 112th, the 111th, the 110th, the 109th subscriber, as well as the 108th and 7th. I want to thank you to all my subscribers. This topic that I'm doing today um, is uh, don't be afraid to give up on uh, give up on unlawful women. Um, I, I came up with this topic because um, men uh, in America um, need to be rescued from entertaining unlawful women, and I'm sure that the curses are upon the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, no matter what country we are scattered to as a people, as a nation. Um, but I wanted to come up with this topic. I didn't want to make it long. Um, but I wanted to start off with, uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter one and, uh, verse, um, three through, uh, five, it says, and it, and it, and it came also in the days of, uh, Jehoiakim that some of, um, Ho um, Josiah, uh, king of Judah, um, unto the end of the 11th year of uh, Zedekiah, the son of um, Josiah, um, king of Judah, unto the, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Okay, this is uh, the nation of Israel in captivity. Uh, uh, it uh, says here in verse four. Then the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Before I formed you, uh, thee, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Okay, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And before uh, thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So the uh, spirit dwelled in dwelled with God before any of us were born and God made God made a, a covenant and a sanction before we were even born okay before we even came out of the scrotum before we even came out of the penis before we were born coming out of the womb okay now I wanted to start off with Jeremiah because um, it, it says a lot about who who I am or who uh, an individual is before they're even born. OK, now. With that said, this topic that I decided to cover is about the unlawful women. Okay, the unlawful women. Okay, women were born or women were created to be wives and, and helpmeets. Okay, the Western woman is perpetuating the unlawful um lifestyle okay now I have a a lesson here and I want to get into it so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Real quick. I'm 
I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Okay. We'll make him a help meet for him. Let's get this straight. Women are the help. Men were not created to be the help meet of women. So I want to address this unlawful woman, the unlawful black woman, native Indian woman, and so-called Latino woman. Okay. The modern day black woman is perpetuating an unlawful lifestyle. Okay, and she has assumed this position as a success or as an achievement. Okay, now, how, how, how do we identify an unlawful woman? How is an unlawful woman identified by a man? Okay, um, well, let's go to Romans. Okay. Romans 7 and 1. Okay. Every 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 righteous man deserve or needs a righteous woman, a lawful woman. Okay. That's why the Bible says that a a good woman shall be the shall be the portion of of a or a righteous woman shall be the portion to a righteous man and a wicked woman shall be the portion to a wicked man. Now I'm I'm just paraphrasing. Okay. Let's go here to Romans chapter 7 verse 1 through 3, okay? It says now or says know ye not brethren for I speak to them that know the law. Okay? This is for those that that are keeping the law, lawful men who are seeking a lawful wife that keeps the commandments of the Bible. All right. It says how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. So it's asking, he's asking a, a, a rhetorical question. How is it that the law has dominion over the life of a man? for as long as he live for as long as he liveth okay how is it how does this law have dominion over the life of a man for his entire life okay now it says in verse 2 for the woman which have a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth so as long as the a man is alive and I did, I pulled out this verse in my previous video and I decided to use this verse again to, to support this lesson today that I'm putting out because it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of meat on, on, on the bone, so to speak. Um, for the woman which have a husband is bound by the law. The woman is bound by the law. Okay. Who has a husband. Now, um, it says, but if the husband be dead, she is, she is loosed from the law of the husband. That means that she is not under the law anymore for having a husband and she can move on and remarry. It says in verse three, so then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. Okay. An adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So she can remarry. She can remarry once her previous man is deceased. OK, now I'm going to go to Proverbs 18 and 22. Or us, uh, 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 Salakia, I'm going to go to Genesis 24. And 67 real quick. Genesis 24 and 67. Give me one second. The 
before I get into my explanation. This is going to be a short video. I don't want to stay on topic too long. 24 and 67. Okay. One second. 24 and 67. Okay. It says, um, this is a Isaac and Rebecca, okay? How she became his wife, okay? How she became his wife. It says, um, I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at 61. Um, right. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to 61 because uh, I don't want to read before that, even though I should, because let me see before then I shall be clear from this. My oath. I want to, because at first Rebecca didn't, she wasn't, she didn't think she was going to be attracted by, to Isaac because she thought he was a poor man. Uh, but when she saw uh, Isaac, she was attracted to um, his, his, um, his demeanor and his position. She, she can, she can sense his position as a righteous man. Um, they bless Rebecca. I'm going to go to 61. And Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the man, which was Isaac. And the servant took Rebecca and went his way. The servant took Rebecca and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well. Or um, she didn't go with, uh, she went with the servant that was taking her to Isaac. And Isaac came from the way of the well, um, Lahiroi, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field and at the at the eventide and he lifted up his eyes and saw and behold the camels were coming so the servant was bringing rebecca to isaac and rebecca lifted up her eyes and when she saw isaac she light she lighted off the camel okay she got off the camel for he for she had said unto the servant what man is this that walketh in the field to meet us and the servant has said, it is my master. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. Okay, she covered herself. She was being respectable. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And the servant explained to Isaac what he had just did. And Isaac brought her, Rebekah, into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah and she became his wife. Isaac has sex with Rebekah. And they exited the tent and they were married and she became his wife and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. So he has sex with Rebecca. OK, sex. Sex is marriage, according to the spiritual covenant or and, uh, with the with with uh, the most high. OK, sex is marriage. OK, now. The Western woman, the unlawful woman, there's a there's a group of women that are unlawful in America. And the unlawful woman, right, she's identified by reading Romans seven and one through three. So I want to I want to cover some of these traits of the unlawful woman. How what 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 it, what are some of the traits or what are some of the traits of an unlawful woman here in America? So-called black women and Latino native India. The so-called black woman, she seems to be at the tip, at the top of being unlawful here in America. Um, the unlawful women are accusers. All right. They're unlawful and they're accusers. All right. Because of the value system in the West, that these uh, so-called black women have adopted 
the, they, 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 um, they practice uh, monogamy well. They, they, they expect monogamy when they're dealing with a man, a so-called black man, and they, and the unlawful Western woman, she is the accuser against righteous male nature. Okay, she's an adulteress and a fornicator. Okay, she's a fornicator. Uh, she's a she 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 practices prostitution, um, and she's like and prostitution can go into dating, dating, and um, dating in lieu of marriage. Right, right. Dating, dating for Western women are is another unlawful practice that brings about fornication. Western women that are uh, unlawful rather date because during the date dating process, women are avoiding the courtship and they're avoiding finding themselves in a, in a, um, in a marriage situation which leads to fornication. Um, the unlawful women in, in America, they rather date because during the dating process, they don't have to contribute to the dating, right? So if a woman is a wife, of course, she's going to contribute to her marriage. Why not, right? So um, women that, unlawful women the men that entertain these types of um, unlawful situations cannot talk money, cannot talk finances with these women because the women do not plan on contributing financially to the to the process of dating or friendship or soulmate. Right? They're they're not going to contribute. So that's why I said. Uh, uh, the men that entertain these women need to be rescued from entertaining these unlawful women. All right. Now, the traits of the unlawful woman, it it's it, 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 it consists of being an accuser. So the nature of the man, if he is um, dealing with multiple women playing for keeps. And I'm not talking about fornication. I'm regarding a man that is capable of loving multiple women the way women ha have the capability of loving multiple children from one man or from multiple um, baby, baby fathers, right? And the women become accusers. Now, they go on social media and they're all over social media accusing men of dealing with other women. Or they're just accusing men of not being financial, not contributing enough of the finances to the process of dating. Now, these are all the unlawful women, all right? And the men who practice this practice are practicing um, unlawfulness and practicing fornication, right? Um, unlawful women carry the same, the same or similar patterns of behavior, all right? They, they naively accuse men of cheating and there's no such thing as cheating. It's just adultery. Okay. A man, a man is allowed to, uh, uh, according to the Bible, he's allowed to have multiple wives. Okay. Adultery, according to the Bible, is when a man has sex with another married woman. Okay. That is the biblical, um, law for adultery all right um and i'm a, i want to get that i want to get that let me see let me see if i can get that let me see if i can get that I 
going to get that. Let me see. Let's lock you. Give me one second to get that. Okay. Let me go here. Put this back in airplane mode so I won't be bothered. All right. Now let me find it. Okay. This is Leviticus chapter 20. And verse 8. Chapter 20 and verse 8. Wait for this lawnmower to pass real quick. This is Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 8. And this is why it's important for the brothers, the brothers in the West to keep the commandments of the Bible and, and, and free themselves from the from the bind of an unlawful um, situation with these unlawful women. This is Leviticus chapter twenty and verse eight. And ye and 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 ye and you shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord Yahweh which sanctify you. And that's in the womb before the womb. Verse nine. For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, the man and the woman shall surely be put to death. Okay. And the man that lieth with his father's wife have uncovered his father's neck and his both of them shall be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay. Now. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, right, his son's wife, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? Now, 14. Well, yeah, 14. And if a man shall take a wife and her mother... That means a woman and her mother have sex with a woman and who the woman's mother. It is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they. OK, the man and the and the two women that there be no wickedness among you. OK, now. It says. If a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter or his mother's daughter and see her nakedness and and she see his nakedness it is it is a wicked thing and they shall be cut off in the sight of other pe of their people he hath uncovered his sister's nakedness he shall bear his iniquity okay now in verse Let me find it in verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So adultery, according to the Bible, is a married man having sex with a married woman. It is not adultery if a married man has sex with an unmarried woman and makes her his wife a man according to the bible is allowed to have multiple wives okay now the unlawful woman in the west in america she she's the accuser and um Unlawful women practice monogamy. Okay? Unlawful women practice monogamy and are anti-polygyny 
and could be agents of feminism. Okay. What are a few common accusations unlawful women typically unlawfully leave men for or divorce men for unlawfully? Okay. Because the Western woman, she's like, she's like a, she's like a criminal who can't stop being a criminal. She's addicted to leaving men for unlawful reasons. Okay. Cheating is not adultery. Okay. Cheating is not adultery. If a man is dealing with a woman that is unmarried, that is not against the law of God. And that's not a reason for a woman to leave to want to leave a man. Now, if a man is righteous and he's being upfront with the woman about he's keeping the commandments of the most high and a woman decides that she doesn't agree with the Bible, then he needs to uh, uh, um, leave that woman alone and move on and find a woman that is lawful and that accepts the law of the Bible. Okay. Cheating is not adultery. So what we what we have with the unlawful woman is she accuses the man of cheating because he's not being the man that she wants him to be rather than be um, rather than be rather he's being the man that God tells him to be. OK, see that the woman over here in the West, the, the, the unlawful black, so-called black Latino Native American woman, these women are unlawful. OK. Me personally, I will say that the biggest the biggest problem with with uh, so-called black Latino Native American people is that they're they're breaking all of the laws of God. OK, these Christian women, all of them are unlawful. In my opinion, because they're breaking the fault, the worship, the putting a God before the most high. They're worshiping uh, a false God of Jesus. They're, wa- they're worshiping a falsehood of Christianity. They're celebrating paganism. They're celebrating birthdays and everything. And it, they're, they're breaking all the laws. OK, but I wanted to dig into the unlawful woman and how the how the men need to be need to rescue themselves away from the unlawful woman. All right. The so-called black woman used to be prepared for a man in his rulership mindset, calling him king and lord and a lord means husband. And he was the landlord because he was the head. But the unlawful woman, she expects a man to to she expects a man to have the the finances. She wants a man to pay financially to be the boss. She wants a man to pay financially to be the head of the household or to be her leader. He has to earn money. All right. And me and my me and my brother was me and one of my brothers was just talking about this, about how there's a bossy woman and then there's a empowered woman and then there's a, a fornicating woman. OK, all of them are unlawful. The bossy woman, she believes that she can boss men around and have dominion over the man in a bossy way. The empowered woman, she goes about earning money and she expects a man to make or earn more money than her in order for her to submit to that man or to cooperate with that man or to allow that man to lead her, right? And then you just have this fornicating woman, the one that... um, consistently walks away from a relationship. Now, according to the Bible, there's no paper that, that a woman can sign 
in order to be married and there's no paper that a woman can sign in order to be divorced. The marriage is the bond of the covenant, the laws, and then the sex pretty much seals the deal or seals the arrangement, right? According to Romans 7, okay, she's free from the law of a of of be or of of a, of adultery if her uh ex is deceased. The western woman, the unlawful woman, she believes that a paper says she's married and a paper says she's divorced. But again, when Yahweh Shai or who the world ignorantly calls Jesus when he was at the well, he told the woman, go get your husband and fetch me some water. And she said, I'm, I don't have a husband. And he said, you've been married five times and you're saying that you're not married right now and you have a and you're dealing with a man. Right. So he told her, you've been married five times already because she was thinking like these unlawful women think today that sex is not marriage. And they're basically fornicating with all these men. Right. And it's an unlawful practice to deal with a woman that will give herself sexually to you as a man. But then she doesn't consider herself in a relationship while she's doing this, committing this act of sex. Right. It's a spiritual it's a spiritual thing. All right. The Western man or the men, period, need to rescue themselves by keeping the law, statutes and commandments of the Bible. Find themselves a biblical woman that is lawful. And be with her and be fruitful and multiply with her. Stop finding yourself with this unlawful woman. Save yourself from the unlawful woman and the unlawful practices of these women. Don't be afraid to give up on unlawful women. Okay? Stop dating these women because that's just another way that women decided to avoid being a wife. That's just another way for a woman to not contribute to what she wants to be a part of. The men are actually con uh, financing the dating process. The women are not even contributing to the dating process. And the men are subscribing to this process when this is a woman's game, the woman, the women make the rules for dating, not the men. The women make the rules for friendship, not the men. The most high don't even make these rules up. It's the women that are that are unlawful. Unlawful women made the rules for dating because they're avoiding. The um, the process of being a wife now from now if these now a lot of men are foolish enough to marry these women uh, um, during the process of dating this woman and they're finding themselves in a position where you're financially providing everything for this situation and she's not contributing anything because the men were foolish enough to um, to uh, fall for this trap that these women um, these unlawful women uh, designed for these men to be a part of if they're willing. So, again, the Western woman, the unlawful woman, is the accuser. And I and why would you? Why 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 men want to marry a woman that's just going to accuse them of of unlawful allegations? I don't know. There's no such thing as cheating. There's just adultery, and a, and, and a man can is allowed to have multiple wives, according to God. Based on a covenant, a paper does not determine whether you're married and a paper does not determine whether you're divorced. Now, 
the marriage contract with America or the so-called white race says till death do you part. The till death do you part goes back to chapter uh, Romans chapter seven and verse three. It says, um, well, actually verse two and three verse two for the woman which have a husband is bound by the law to her to her husband so long as he live liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of the husband. So there goes your divorce. Your divorce begins when the man is deceased that you were just dealing with as the woman or that she was dealing with as the woman. All right. That's the divorce. Till death do you part is a, is, is a, is a law. It doesn't even work with this marriage contract. Okay. Once the contract uh, is signed, the woman believes that's when she's divorced, but that's carnal. According to the Bible, a divorce begins when the man is deceased. That's when the woman is free to marry again, to move on and marry again. There is no till death do you part with the with the with a piece of paper. Okay. The till death do you part comes from the Bible. That's why women are not even keeping or um upholding the till death do you part with a marriage contract. All they gotta do is accuse the man of cheating, accuse his man of some uh unlawful allegation some some false allegation and she feels and she just decides to go and sign a, a paper and then move on and a lot of a lot of these brothers have met these women that have accused their exes of cheating and she decided to run off with his children and then the men that she meets that she met next wants to give her give her a chance because she still looks attractive, but she's unlawful. Uh, there's a there's 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 a large there's a larger group of women in America that are unlawful and still attractive. But but you men better be wise and stay away from entertaining these unlawful women because she gonna she'll do you the same way. They're looking for a man that's gonna be what they want. Instead of looking for a man that's doing what the most high tells them to do or commands them to do. These women don't want a lawful, righteous man. They want an unlawful man that is going to follow the lead of a woman's terms. All right. So if you haven't read Romans chapter seven, check out verse one through three. If you haven't read how a woman is a is a white how a woman becomes a wife through sex then read genesis chapter 24 and 60 or genesis uh yes uh yes genesis chapter 24 and start at like 50 and read about how rebecca and isaac came together uh there's no rings in the bible nobody's getting married with rings there's ceremonies but there are no rings. There's no contracts with for marriage. The divorce begins when a woman is um, a woman's ex is deceased or a woman's husband rather is deceased because that's the till death do you part. Unless there is allegations of adultery where a man, a married man has um, sex with another uh, with a married woman. OK. And then it says they shall be put to death and things of that sort. So you men, um, if you're not keeping the laws of the Most High, save yourself a lot of headache and heartache. Your heart is your mind. And save yourself a lot of um, unlawful practices uh, avoid a lot of these unlawful practices dealing with these unlawful women over here stop dating these women find you a wife find you a woman that is lawful that's going to obey and abide by 
the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Find you a biblical woman and stay away from these uh, Christian religious women. Okay, because they're they're unlawful. They're going to they're, they're they're going to accuse you, and they're going to end up taking your children, being a single mother by choice, and they're going to continue to uh, fornicate. Okay. So the unlawful woman is definitely a fornicator. She's definitely an adulteress. She's definitely an accuser. Okay. That's 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 their that's their pattern. Accuse the man, leave the man, and continue to fornicate and lay and be labeled an adulteress. Adultery for a woman is when she leaves a man accuses him, leaves him, and moves on to meet another man. She's an adulteress. She's an adulteress, okay? Or if she has, or if she's involved with a man and she has sex with another man, that's adultery. Adultery for a man is if he is, and, and a woman is not allowed to have multiple husbands, but a man is allowed to have multiple wives, Okay? You men that like to deal with multiple women and play for keeps, you need to start keeping those commandments of the Most High and find yourself a lawful uh, woman or lawful women to marry according to the covenant of the Most High. And that's my edification. I don't want to ramble on, but I wanted to touch on this because I see a lot of brothers that are in there. They look just like kings, you know, uh, and these, uh, there are women that are willing to be lawful and they can get their crown placed on them. Like in the bottom picture right here. But you men, I see, I see a lot of brothers that look like rulers, look like kings. They got that spirit on them. It's just, you're either lawful or unlawful. You're either biblical or you're just a fornicator. Or, you know what I'm saying, going into your pervert, carnal mentality. So you men you men, need to save yourself and uh, rescue yourselves from dealing with these unlawful women because these unlawful women have the same, they have the same pattern, okay? They don't contribute to relationships. They're transactional. They want you to earn more money than them before they consider you the head of a household or their leader or whether or before they're going to submit to you. That's why this Western woman, she's unlawful. She has no natural respect for you. You have to earn money, earn more money than her before you earn her respect. Right. She don't have no natural respect for the so-called black man. You have to earn her respect by earning more money than her. That's why you hear these Western women that are unlawful, these unlawful women. They say they can't respect or submit to a man that doesn't make, that doesn't earn more money than her. It's always about money with these women because they're getting money from the, from the, uh, from the, from the Edomite government, the so-called American government, which will sponsor them and pay them top dollar in some sort of, some cases to be a single mother. And these women rather lead themselves than to let a let a uh, be led by um, a so-called black man that has a rulership mentality. Monogamy is the problem in the West, not polygyny. Polygyny is not the problem. The unlawful woman is a problem. OK. She's going to put you on child support and you're going to find yourself being a father on her watch when you're contributing to her household that you don't even live in. So a lot of these women, they, they, they're expecting men to contribute to their household and support her in being a single mother after she decided to unlawfully leave you. Women are allowed to leave, but they're not allowed to divorce according to the Bible. Um, the, 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 the divorce starts when a man is, when their ex- when their husband is is dead, okay? But the unlawful women don't agree with this. Unlawful women don't agree that sex is marriage. Unlawful women don't believe that she has to wait to her ex or her or her, her husband that she was just 
involved with her baby daddy, they don't agree that he should be dead before they can move on. So again, they're unlawful. Okay. But uh, that's enough said. Hope this has edified someone out there. You brothers, rescue yourselves from this Western woman. Stop dating her. Stop being her friend. All of that stuff has to go. You men have to stop supporting these processes of these unlawful, of, 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 of entertaining these unlawful women. It's too much of this going on, and a lot of brothers are not getting families out of this deal, out of these situations, bro. All right, I see it all the time. And I got a couple brothers that I be having uh, discussions with that have um, that have been played by this uh, unlawful woman in the court systems, you know, and uh, they haven't even raised, the men have not even been a part of their, a, a part of their children's lives because of these unlawful women. Okay. Uh, this is, um, and I'm going to sign off with this. This is Romans chapter 6 and verse um, 14. It says, um, For sin shall not have dominion on over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. And then uh, 15, it says, What then? Shall we, sh shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? That's a question. And it says, God forbid, so hell no. Okay, 16, know ye, know ye not that whom ye yield uh, yourselves servants to obey, his, um, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, um, whether of sin unto death or, um, or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form um that form of doctrine which was delivered you okay so keeping the law delivers you and knowing who you serve is important okay it says being being then made from sin ye became the servants of righteousness okay I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmities of your flesh. For as, as you have yielded your members servants of uncleanness unto whom the iniquities, um, even so yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. So again, become changed by keeping the law. You brothers got to keep the law. This Bible the laws of the of, of the most high will save you and prevent you from dealing with these unlawful women. You will start to see the outcome is the same with these with these unlawful women. They can't stop walking away from relationships because they can't. They're not practicing. They're not keeping the law. OK, they're, they're unfit to be wives from the get go. So with that said, I want to say Shalom. All right. All praises to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, I want to thank all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, this channel is for educational purposes and edification and, inf and information. So subscribe if you haven't already. I want to wish all 115 of my subscribers high health. And I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and taking the proper precautions against these agendas that are waged against us behind enemy lines of America. Shalom.